with the fireworks in the sky and come and gone as the 4th of July. You know, I could really be a rapper at this point if I keep up with these video intros like that. So I went out riding the other day and I'm like, man, I really need to think of a, think of a new video idea for the, uh, for the channel. And what can I do? Something that's 4th of July related. Mm, what could I do? Well, I could tell you guys the craziest and actually at the time it was really scary. I was only like six or seven years old. The craziest 4th of July firework accident thing show that you want to call it. So let's take you back about, I don't know, um, I'm going to say early 2000s. I'm about six, seven years old. And I used to have these neighbors. Every year they were, uh, they were kind of the richer, upper class family living in a suburbish kind of area next to us if you were living next to us you were at least middle class if not a little bit lower but they were awesome people they were just top of the line top-notch neighbors you could have you know it's like you're you're go out to get the newspaper wave hello go back inside invite them over for a cold beer it's one of those kind of situations just great people all around never had a thing to complain about never really dicks to you or anything just great people every year they would host a little mini firework backyard firework show and it, it was always a, a, a sight to see because when you're seven years old even so much as sparklers were absolutely mind-blowing to you but they would be shooting off things like roman candles the silver salutes um, the dog turds or whatever they are, the, the snakes, whatever you want to call them. And this time they decided to go into their front yard and light off some, uh, not like the super big Detroit firework mortars, just like the ones you can get at your local Walmart or your whatever shop. They would choose those to light off this year. And um, it kind of, no pun intended, kind of blew up in their face. But I'll get to that in a second. Now, where we lived, it was kind of like the road I'm on right now, just the houses were much closer to the road. You had maybe, I don't know, 100 feet of driveway until it reached the house. And yeah, not necessarily a great place to be lighting off fireworks, but you were still able to get away with it. As much as I want to set the scene, I can't without giving a visual diagram, but I'm not going to be able to. But yeah, it's not necessarily the best idea, but you could get away with it just so long as there weren't any cars on the road. It gets to be about dark time. They're lighting off their little mini Roman candles out of this like makeshift stand that they got. And me, my brother, and my sister, my parents are like, boom, whoa, bang, wow. And you know, it was mind blowing to us, no pun intended. And the great thing is it's going fantastic. It's colorful, it's bright, it's loud, it's very American E. We feel the presence of old Abraham Lincoln and George Washington himself being like, we salute you, middle class family. <laughs> the guy on the tractor, I don't know if I'll put it in the video, there's a guy on the tractor that looked, that looked to me like I was incredibly stupid. It really funny. Anyway, so they're going off and whatnot. So they decide to start moving into the heavier set of fireworks. Now this is where things start to get just a little bit sketchy because there's not necessarily a, a solid ground. They're not lighting these fireworks off on cement like pavement. They're lighting it off in the grass. And it's so far so good. And you know they got really nothing to worry about. Every time they've ever lit off fireworks before that it went swimmingly and there was really no problem. No big deal. Whatever. So they decide to get one of those big mortars that, you know, are pretty, that go off in a pretty spectacular fashion. And this is the one time that things go sour in a very, very bad way. Now, what happens is we're sitting on our front porch and they go to light off this firework and they didn't know that there was a car coming on the road. I shouldn't laugh because it's really not funny. Um, <laughs> as I laugh anyway. So they light off the firework and I don't know if the wind caught it or something, but something knocks the firework over and that freaking tube is pointing at the road directly at the people across the street's house. Now, don't get me wrong, it's dark. You can barely see the, 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 the light of the fuse and I just, 
I remember this clearly. I was so shook. So we don't notice that it tips over until the freaking thing just blows the hell up. Now, we didn't know that there was a car coming. Now, do I tell you now or later that this was a car filled with a with the family? This was worst case scenario at its finest. Now, God, it's terrible looking at it now because I would hate, hate to be the people in the car. So the, t the firework tips over, you hear the tss, boom, bang, and it, and it explodes. It shoots off as, as it should, as a firework should, into the road, right in front of this family's car, and blows up into the road, into our yard, into the neighbor's yard, into the, na into the people across the street's yard. The car in front of us slams on the brake. Skirt! And they come to a screeching halt as the firework is going off. It's one of those that shoot up into the sky and explode and then have the, like the, it goes shh. It's like the sprinkler effect. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't know. I'm not a fireworkologist. I don't know. Don't take it from me. But it was one of those. And the guy who was driving the car is understandably absolutely fucking pissed. He is irate. Where the hell did this firework come from in this middle of this packed suburb street? He was so mad. He gets out of his freaking Ford Taurus, bro. Just hooting and hollering. What the F was that? What the hell was it? I'm calling the cops. And he's yelling and screaming. And like I said, understandably so, because I think I'd be absolutely irate if that happened to me. And the worst part is, like the reason I remember why there was, his car was packed with people, even though he was the only one that got out of his car, is because you could hear a little girl screaming in the car. Like it was, a t it, was it had to be a, been like a baby. And like, I remember my parents just kind of looking at us with a poker face being like, kids, go inside. Because my parents didn't want us to see what the hell was about to happen. They didn't know if they were about to get in a fight, which I mean, you know, I believe it. And the woman who was who lit off the fireworks was understandably absolutely apologetic. Like, she felt awful after that. They never did a fireworks show after that again. And I was, <laughs> I remember being like, what the hell just happened? And I look over at my, like, 13-year-old brother, and he's like, I don't know either. And, the, and I still hear the people just screaming. Like, and like, I was watching from my bedroom window because my bedroom window, you know, they uh, like you could look out into the front yard and the, you see the cops arrive. And I don't know if anybody got arrested. I don't think so because it wasn't, you know, it, it was an accident, you know. It's just they probably got a slap on the wrist or maybe like a ticket or something. I don't know. But I remember being seven years old and being like, Wow, that was the worst firework show I think I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I remember being pretty shaken up by that. I'm just like, oh my god, are my neighbors gonna get arrested? Am I not gonna be able to go over there and play anymore? Like they had some, they, like there were those neighbors that had the like the, the the everything. They had the dope kids. You know what I'm saying? Like they were just genuinely awesome people, and I felt bad. You know what I'm saying? Like like they were super nice people, and like man, bad things happen to good people. You know what I'm saying? Like those people probably don't need to be pulled over on their uh, on their e-scooters and and being talking to the by that cop. But yeah, it's like one of those situations. They they never did one of those again, and it was a uh, ah man, it was just awful, just awful. You felt really bad for them at the end of the day, but it didn't let them damper their holiday spirits. They were still free as Americans should be. But yeah, that is definitely the wildest. 4th of July fireworks show that I think I have ever been a part of or at least witnessed and yeah it, it's not the first time that I've watched a firework tip over and then blow up like a big mortar like that because I've had that happen in my backyard like two or three years ago but the differences between then and now is that seven year old me couldn't have ran that fast like I did 16 year old me when that firework went off and blew up in my backyard bro i thought i was gonna die i thought bro that's it close the curtain show's over that's it that we're done party's over i don't know i like me some fireworks but not when they blow the hell up and in a non in the fashion that they're not supposed to that's kind of the kind of the scary part about it because it's kind of like a bomb going off in your face 
And yeah, I'm, I'm looking to be free, just not like free of life. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, that, that's a, uh, it's scary as hell. But today is an absolutely beautiful day to not have fireworks blow up on your hand or in your face. We're going down to the water in which I actually already did a moto vlog on the haunted waters of Michigan. Go check that out. I'll leave a little card in the, in the top corner of the video where I take uh, I take the Michigan waters all the way down and I head all the way up from the bottom of the thumb to the top of the thumb. And it makes for an awesome ride. But we're gonna go not all the way to the top, we're gonna go about midway because it's one of my favorite spots to go to. And it's just a beautiful day for it. It's a beautiful day for some moto vlogging. It's a beautiful day to tell some awesome stories of my life to you guys who at least I think like to hear these stories along with see videos about the Honda Fury. So if you guys enjoy it, be sure to subscribe to the channel hit like on this video it really helps me out a lot it tells me what you guys want to see it keeps you guys entertained keeps you guys coming back and gives me a purpose to go out and ride my motorcycle other than the american freedom that is riding a motorcycle oh yeah feel the freedom in your armpit hairs Woo! anyway if you guys enjoy be sure to check out the Instagram at Esoteric Rider where I post pictures and videos of this fine specimen of a motorcycle that is my 2020 Honda Fury and other motorcycle related content. As always, support your local veteran and be safe and ride free. Peace out.